Welcome back to Ganya Farms. I'm Candace. The holidays are fast approaching and I'm back with some more traditional family recipes for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please share comments down below about your family traditions. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to cover a different area of food for the holidays. That's not actually food at all. We are going to talk about drinks today. There is just something heartwarming about sitting with family around a fire, sipping on these holiday drinks. There are two different drinks that I'll be making for you today. The first one that we're gonna get started on is our family punch. My grandma used to make this all the time for us. It's a wonderful drink. My grandma always took white grape juice in an ice cube tray and then dropped some cherries in each little ice cube. I'm getting a little creative. I didn't actually have any ice cube trays to use. So I am using our deviled egg tray and hopefully these ice cubes will turn out cute and maybe even look a little bit like Christmas ornaments. I have filled each little egg slot with white grape juice. Now that the ice tray is filled, I'm going to take a cherry and drop it in each little slot. Here's how you can make a simple holiday punch and make it fancy. We're gonna take some white grape juice and some verners and put it in to our container. Now, if this were during the holiday festivities, you would wanna put it in a pretty punch bowl, but for now, so I can put it in the refrigerator, I'm putting it in here. So we're gonna use about half of this bottle to a whole two liter of burners. I'm gonna chill this in the refrigerator while we wait for the fancy part to freeze. This is how you can take a simple punch and make it fancy for the holidays. Put your punch into a punch bowl and then just float some fancy ice cubes in it. Happy holidays, cheers. One of my favorite memories as a child is sitting around the wood stove at my grandma and grandpa's cabin and the wonderful smell of hot apple cider. That's what I'm making here, hot apple cider. I'm making kind of a small batch because it's just for us today. Um, if you were making it for a lot of people, you would want to use more than this. So I'm gonna use a half a gallon of apple cider, put some slivered almonds in it, and cinnamon sticks. As a child, I remember the aroma that filled the cabin with the pot of hot apple cider sitting on the wood stove. Today, we're gonna put it on our stove and heat it up there. I'm gonna let it warm up for a while and I can't wait to smell that wonderful apple cinnamon smell. I really wish you guys could smell what it smells like in here. It's phenomenal. I'm gonna dip some of this out into my mug. Mm. Now I'm ready to relax with my nice 
warm apple cider.